So I thought I'd go through a few comments about how I um, how I clamp these uh, planking pieces, get them to basically conform to the shape of the hull, because the the hull of the Monaco in the back, it's you can see it, it you know, it's curved like that. So <clears throat> I have what I use is what I've been using is two layers of four millimeter ply in strips like this, and uh, and so down below, I clamp them, uh, see, I clamp them to the bottom of the boat down there. And then it provides a nice amount of pressure um, to the piece, but it's not quite enough. So what I had to do is start using these thicker ones, which are clamped. So what they do, like the these four millimeter pieces really help the bottom conform and then these thicker ones and I started using a board like this and that really helps push the the top part of the board um, and helps it conform to the hull better and then I also use little washers little washers made out of four millimeter ply like this and and then my composite air nailer is needed in general I use those if I don't need to have additional clamping like this so this is a pretty probably the most complicated sort of clamping I've had to do is these pieces back here towards the back. These two pieces, the way it worked out is they're just about less than a foot and a half, maybe long, just the way my, you know, sort of a long piece, then a real long one, and then just this short one here for this part. Whereas the row below, the piece was maybe six or so feet long, and I did similar clamping, but I had to do more of it obviously, because the piece is longer. And then you only have to do it back, you know, four four to five feet of the hull from, from the rear and uh, to get to do this kind of extra clamping. So it takes a lot of clamps and things. And, of course, I have these, these uh, two-by-twos screwed on the bottom, and I, again, lined up those screw holes to be where I'm actually going to put real screws in because I am going to have a row of screws along the bottom um, before I put the final layer of planking down. So, and then, of course, over here, I did use this this kind of a push thing um, to help push that up. But that's the first time I've had to do that, and just I was able to do it because on this side of my garage, the cabinet is there. So, uh, 